In this video, we're going to talk about the changes that are going to take effect from this round of the season event. So let's get right into it. Firstly, if you're in season three, they've added a new renegade Commodore Korax, who apparently counters Megalodon. Second, and this applies to all seasons, you now get a free golden renegade by signing in for 30 consecutive days during the season event. So all you need to do is sign in for 30 consecutive days, and I'm assuming you get 300 golden renegade fragments of any one of the golden renegades from that season. Many people seem to be excited about this, however, you have to keep in mind that 300 fragments will only give you a 1 star renegade, and if you do this for 3 rounds, then maybe you'll be able to get enough for a 2 star renegade, but even then, in my opinion, it's much better to use a 5 star Lan Ching rather than a 2 star golden renegade. For Season 3, they've added new gameplay, something called Battle Island and Pirate Experience Event, where you'll be able to get a ton of points for killing enemies. Apart from that, they've also made some adjustments. They've adjusted the opening times of certain chapters in the Conquest archives. They've also significantly reduced the combat effectiveness of sailors and slightly reduced the combat effectiveness of tactical privateers. Also, the training speeds of these tactical privateers and sailor privateers has been reduced as well. Along with that, they've also reduced the maximum storage capacity of sailors and privateer evolve coins from 300,000 to 100,000. You'll also be able to get kill points from killing tactical and sailor privateers, but only if you kill them with your regular troops, not if you kill them with your own tactical or sailor privateers. They've also increased the refresh rate of material tiles and mercenaries on the map, and this will obviously apply to all seasons. For maritime trade, you can no longer rob your own clan members, and they've also adjusted the weapon storage and the weapon recovery speed. For Season 3 clan properties, they've reduced the amount of resources you need to max out clan properties. In the Everbright Lighthouse event, you'll now get season points for getting a rank. And for daily island kill rankings, they've now changed that to where the island kill rankings will reset every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday instead of resetting every single day. So those were pretty much all the changes made to this round of the season event. Let me know what you guys think about these changes in the comments down below. Before I end this video, I'd like to thank all of my patrons for the support. To support me, you can find my Patreon link in the description below. Thanks for watching the video guys, and I will see y'all in the next one.